Welcome to Thoroughbred Action from the Fall Turf Festival at Gulfstream Park West. It is a spectacular Monday afternoon. Let's look at the track and weather conditions. The main track, fast, turf course, firm, our first race is for three-year-olds and up, which have never won two races, and there is one scratch in the race, and that is number three, Parsley. And they're up. Last in, first out, Coro Coro gets the first call and goes looking for the lead from Forged, who comes away racing in second. Quick Hall is in between horses and now third from Guayabate, who moves up fourth. It's a length back toward the inside to Happy Harvey, and Party in the Sky is last of all as they race down the backstretch. With the lead, it's the heavy favorite, Coro Coro, on top by two. Guayabate takes over second in front of Forged in third with Quick Hall alongside. A length and a half to Happy Harvey, second last and four lengths to Party in the Sky. They move around the far turn after the opening quarter went in 22 and 2. The leader is Coro Coro by 2. Guayabate is the closest pursuer second, opening up three lengths now on Happy Harvey, who gets around Quick Hall and from between them forged. Still nothing from Party in the Sky. That's the six of them as they turn for home and Coro Coro still the one to catch. Happy Harvey to the attack on the outside. He's now second. Guayabate is third and forged had to take up a bit from fourth. Two in front of Quick Hall fifth. Inside the final furlong, Coro Coro still confidently handled by Coro Carlos Olivero, and he'll win it as the heavy favorite. Coro, Coro in the Monday opener by two. Close for second, Happy Harvey or Forged, and fourth, Guayabate in 105 and four. Number seven, Coro, Coro scores impressively at two to five, owned by Caroni Stable Incorporated, trained by Rodolfo Garcia, and ridden to victory today by Carlos Olivero. Second race, seven and a half furlongs on the firm turf course. These are maiden uh, three-year-olds and upward. We have nine runners going to the post. And they're up. Relativity Factor begins the best and goes looking for the lead. Curve up on the outside showing speed today, and Ocean Lane Plaza comes away in the top flight with grease paint alongside. Bart of Avon is tugging between horses and high bidders toward the inside. Three in front of totally impressive. Second last, Buckingham Gate and trailing the field. The early trailer here is... Uh, on the inside, Simon won't say. They bend around the turn. Kerf has the lead. Bart of Avon is hard to handle. Up on the outside, racing second, relativity factor. Two and a half in front of Bart of Avon, who's a headstrong third. Then it's Ocean Lane Plaza with high bitter necks. Four in front of totally impressive. Followed on the inside by Buckingham Gate, who's now a neck better than grease paint. And Simon won't say continues last. It's a three-ply duel now goes on after the opening quarter went in 23 and 2. Less than half a mile to go now, and Kerf tries to get away again. Leads at three parts of a length. Bart of Avon is second after a 47-second flat half mile. High bidder on the outside, now third. Then it's Ocean Lane Plaza. Totally impressive is making good ground for Masonette. Here's Totally Impressive into fourth and coming on with Kerf still in front. Kerf in front by a neck. Here's High Bitter on the outside. Totally Impressive is four wide toward the inside. Ocean Lane Plaza. Buckingham Gate needs to get a move on. Top of the lane. High Bitter up for the lead now. Kerf is trying to hold on to second toward the outside totally impressive late run from the far outside by grease paint with an eighth of a mile to go the leader is still high bitter and he's gone high bitter moving away it's going to be grease paint getting up for second the battle's on for third high bitter in front grease paint up second buckingham gate third in front of a photo fourth between totally impressive and current curve number four high bitter proves much the best just cruises away Owned by IAB Stables and Miguel Soto, trained by Tamara Levy. I've ridden the victory today by Fernando Hara. We will take a short break. Be back for the third on about 40 seconds. Point of entry is taking the lead. Point of entry has defeated Animal Kingdom by a length and a half. Real Solution continues to attack on the outside. A wild finish coming here, and point of entry. Oh, the classy point of entry would not be denied. Point of entry, a five-time grade one winner by Sire of Sire's Dynaformer. New for 2014 at Adina Springs. Watch world-class horse racing while dining on scrumptious world-class cuisine. Gulfstream Park features one of South Florida's most popular culinary destinations in Ten Palms. 
Located on the second floor of the clubhouse, Ten Palms features creative American dishes and daily specials overlooking beautiful Gulfstream Park. Enjoy delicious seafood and the finest in organic beef, whimsical desserts, and daily food and drink specials, all while taking in a breathtaking view of world-class racing. For a delicious afternoon of mouth-watering culinary delights, come to Gulfstream Park. The third race, five and a half furlongs, these are made in state bred to two-year-olds, eight runners are going to the post. And they're up. Good start toward the outside for I'm Sensational, who goes looking for the lead. Here's Color Me Pom Pom quickly up the challenge, and Coal Miner from up between them down to the inside and moving up a Bron Paso. It's a stretch of four lengths back to Brother Bobo, who's passed inside by one proud dude. Then to the outside, Big Yum is second last, and it's about seven or eight to Laurentino, last of all, as they go past the half mile pole. They kick to the far turn, and the leader is Color Me Pom Pom, three parts of a length. Coal Miner is there second. Toward the inside, Abram Paso. Toward the outside, I'm Sensational. Sensational. Then it's a length and a half back to one proud dude who circles wide to in front of an inside running brother Bobo. He's favored and he's about five lengths behind trying an inside journey with a quarter of a mile left to go. Color Me Pom Pom turns for the money with a two length lead. Trying to work off the fence now brother Bobo into the clear for Prado and here he comes. He's coming on well too inside the final furlong. Here's brother Bobo trying to get to Color Me Pom Pom. Coal Miner is third down the outside and coming on fourth Big Yum. Here's brother Bobo. Very, very well ridden by Edgar Prado and he's a wrapped up winner. Stylish debut for Brother Bobo, a length in the end. Second was Color Me Pom Prom in front of Coal Miner third and Big Yum fourth in 106 and 1. Number four, Brother Bobo closes nicely the score for Mr. Mori Stable, trained by Jason Service and ridden to victory today by Edgar Prado. Fourth race on the turf, one mile and one sixteen. Claim is three year olds and upward. Scratch number eight, Maddie's Trail. And Zara. From the outside, Valid Concept begins the best toward the center, moving to challenge his favorite catch with All-Star coming away in third. It will be favorite catch who will land in front under a stronghold, leads by two from, from Valid Concept second. All-Star is third from Distreet Duke, who's away closer. He's fourth, a length better than Mutasadir fifth. A length and a half back to Mahubo. Saturdays for Fun is second last, and Financial Pathway is last. As favorite catch and Leandro Gonsalves make a break up top, they've opened up a four-length lead. In the two-pass Valid Concept second from All-Star who moves up on his inside and All-Star now takes over second behind this lonely leader favorite catch. It's a stretch of another four lengths to Dynamic Duke who races along in fourth two in front of Saturdays for Fun and Muta Sadir. Mahubo second last and Financial Pathway is last. They went through the opening quarter 23 seconds flat so it's a quick pace here. Half mile and 47 and three. And favorite catch trying to do this all the way on the top end with All-Star getting a good trip looming in behind him second. Racing in third is Valid Concept, two and a half lengths back to Discreet Duke. He's received a nice trip. He's fourth and starting to close in. Mutisadir on his outside. Then it's Saturdays for Fun and Mahubo. And last of all is Financial Pathway. They move now around the far turn and still leading his favorite catch, Discreet Duke with a ground-saving trip. Saturdays for Fun follows him. He's into fourth as Valid Concept calls it an afternoon and they're at the top of the stretch. Leandro Gonsalves and favorite catch trying to make a re-break here. They're off the turn on top by two and a half. From the outside, Saturdays for Fun toward the inside, Discreet Duke. In between them, it's All Star. There's an eighth of a mile to go. Gonsalves trying to get one more furlong out of Favorite Catch. Here comes Saturdays for Fun on the outside. Favorite Catch, Saturdays for Fun coming on. Saturdays for Fun is in time. Favorite Catch was second. It's close third between Discreet Duke and All Star. Number one, Saturdays for Fun closes to win it by about three quarters of a length. Owned by Riding Jack Racing, trained by Dennis Ward, and ridden victory today by Jose Alvarez. The fifth race, five and a half furlongs. These are three-year-olds and upward, which have never won three races. The off-time favorite, number two, Kaiton. And they're up. From the outside, Cashel back wins the break. Romeo's War moves up now quickly, and Romeo's War takes the lead. Reggae Boy is sent hard by Mirage to try to get position. He's second and challenge.
Chance to race in third. Toward the outside, that's Cashel back toward the inside Skiba in July. Ferry Snow follows them. Stretch of four to Golden Beach Boy and five lengths to the trailer, Kalpalek. They leave the back stretch and move on to the far turn. It's Reggae Boy on top by a length and a quarter. Three wide out there is Catan from between horses and moving up is Romeo's War. Skibo in July tugging at the rider. Wants some racing room. He's fourth at the 5 sixteenths. A length better than Cashel back, who's three in front of Ferry Snow. And there's a quarter of a mile left to go. Whip comes out on Kaitani. He's three wide to get to Reggae Boy, who cuts the corner and has the lead. In between horses and coming on now third is Skibo in July with an eighth of a mile to go. With the lead, Reggae Boy in front three parts of a length to the attack. Kaitan second toward the inside on Skibo in July third. Sixteenth pole. Reggae Boy almost home. Kaitan trying to chip away late. Reggae Boy, Kaitan. Reggae Boy and Kaitan. Reggae Boy hanging on. Kaitan is second, very close third. Ferry Snow or Skibo in July. And Kapolek finished with interest to be fifth in 105 and four. Number one, Reggae Boy. Game in victory holds off the favorite. The number one, Reggae Boy, owned by Michael Bernard, trained by Alan Mirage, and ridden to victory today by Alan Mirage. We will take a short break and be back for the sixth race in just a couple of moments. A love of horses and a commitment to excellence have come together in the heart of Florida's Marion County. Owned by lifelong horseman Benjamin Leon Jr., Bessie Lou Stables has assembled top-notch thoroughbreds, breeding and racing the champions of today and tomorrow. Breeders' Cup winner Royal Delta has thrilled the racing world with back-to-back -back wins in the Ladies' Classic. As a multi-year sponsor of the Fountain of Youth and the Florida Derby, Bessie Lou Stables is a proud sponsor of Gulfstream Park. Welcome back, our sixth race, one mile on the turf. These are three-year-olds and upward, which have not won two races or straight three-year-olds. Scratch the 11, the 12, and number 13, Courage Belongs. And they're up. It was a slow beginning for Giant Cat. Quick beginning toward the outside for an imaginary road who looks to cross over from up between horses, ex-pirate, and five gears from down toward the inside. These three are quickest from I'm the Lucky One and Carson's 10 who come away fourth and fifth. Then it's a length and a half back moving between horses is Rackham Earl. And on the inside, it's Sea Hunt as they run into that first turn. With the lead, five gears using some gears here. He opens it up two and a half lengths. An imaginary road is second, X Pirate is third. I'm the lucky one is now racing in fourth in front of Tel Contar with Carson's 10 to the inside. Then on the outside is the gray Imagine That Mom with on the inside Sea Hunt, third last. Second last inside Giant Cat and Rackham Earl and Edgar Prado last of all after the opening quarter went in a robust 22 and three. They approach the half mile pole. With the lead, it's five gears, three parts of a length as they move to the half mile and 47 seconds flat. Three wide X Pirate from between them an imaginary road. Saving ground is Carson's 10 getting a good trip for Eduardo Nunez. A half length better than I'm the lucky one. Then it's a stretch of two to Sea Hunt and imagine that mom toward the inside giant cat around Tel Contar. And last is Rackham Earl. He's got a long way to go with less than three furlongs to go. An imaginary road from up between horses up on the outside. That's X Pirate still right alongside. Imaginary road floats X Pirate off the corner a bit with five gears throwing in the anchor on the outside and five gears far outside. Rackham Earl is unleashed by Prado. He's down the center of the racetrack. He was dead last an eighth of a mile ago, and he's in front now. It's Rackham Earl. You can rack him up here. He racked up every one of them and wins from last to first by a length and a quarter. Imagine that mom second. I'm the lucky one third in front of Giant Cat fourth in 136 and three. Number eight, Rackham Earl closes from last and gets up to win it for Justice Racing stable trained by mike maker and ridden victory by edgar prado his second win on the card the seventh race one mile claim is three-year-olds and upward scratch the three pennant and press scratch the number eight rush now and they're up Toward the inside, that's Dreaming of Joey, who begins the best and goes looking for the lead quickly up to challenge is Call Me Back. And Call Me Back and Dreaming of Joey hook up in the early stages. They lead it by two early over Hugo Lighter's three wide. Distinctive pick is toward the inside, and from the center, that's Alico Castle. And out the back door early, the trailer is Tiz Bobby as they go around that first turn run. Call me back. Working clear now. Leads it by a length and a quarter. From the outside, Hugo Light second. Dreaming of Joey out sprinted a bit. He's third now. A neck better than Alico Castle. 
Distinctive pick drops off the beat about six or seven behind, and he's two lengths better than the stretch running Tiz Bobby. Quarter time, 24 seconds flat down the back stretch they go. Call Me Back leads it a length and a quarter. Hugo Light on the outside second. Alico Castle a joint third with Dreaming of Joey to the inside. These top four continue to dominate the race at the half mile pole. They've opened up six lengths on distinctive pick and still not much from Tiz Bobby and Alvarez. He's last of all as they bend into the far turn. Half mile went in 48 seconds flat and Dreaming of Joey calls it an afternoon. So it's Call Me Back in front with Alico Castle moving well for Tyler Gaffleone. Here's Alico Castle on the outside, now a joint second. It's two lengths to Hugo Light. Tiz Bobby begins to unwind, pointed in the right direction by Alvarez, third now with five lengths to raise, and they're at the top of the stretch. Alico Castle set down for the drive. Call me back, trying to continue on second, two and a half lengths to Tiz Bobby, who swung into action now by Jose Alvarez and begins to find his feet. Eighth of a mile to go. Tiz Bobby on the outside trying to track down Alico Castle. He collars him now and moves away. Tiz Bobby is in front and edging clear with the 16th to run, holding second Alico Castle, the battle's on third. Tis Bobby for two in a row. Alico Castle second, very close for third. Call me back or distinctive pick, then Hugo Light and Dreaming of Joey in 140 and three. Number six, Tiz Bobby closes to score for owner trainer Dario Vega, ridden to victory today by Jose Alvarez, his second win on the card.